Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have the holy grail of legacy lightsabers. You might see this packaging, you're like, no way you got the Darksaber. It's not the Darksaber, believe it or not. It's the same packaging as the Darksaber, but it's not the Darksaber. So if you remember a little while back, Disney discontinued a few of their older lightsabers, including some really surprising ones like Mace Windu. Uh, this one, one other one. I don't remember what the other one was. I know they did Mace Windu and this one, which I'll reveal to you in a minute. But they might have did the Vader one too. But I don't think... Maybe they didn't discontinue it. Anyways, there's three or four of them on their website, Legacy Lightsabers, that you can buy in this new packaging, which comes with a blade, a stand, and a clip. All in one shot. And the hilt. And it's like $200, which is a great deal, because I've been paying like $200 on eBay for just the normal Legacy Lightsabers with just the, just the hilt and their plastic crate. But they discontinued the Mace Windu one, as well as the regular Skywalker one, which is what this one is. They still have the Reforged, but they just don't have the regular Skywalker one if you go to Doc Ondar's. Now, I don't know if they have this at Doc Ondar's. They probably do, but they definitely have it on ShopDisney.com. So you can get the, I think, I believe Darth Vader, Mace Windu, and the leg, and the, the Skywalker one, the Rey, Luke, Anakin one, which is what this is, in this packaging. And it comes with a, I believe, the, see, there, there's a couple different blade sizes. This comes with the medium one. So I'll show you in a second. I'll show you the different blades and everything. I'll get to everything with this lightsaber. There is so much to talk about. So I'm going to try to keep it brief. But this packaging is not plastic. It's like a cardboard. So it's not quite as cool. And it's also a massive fucking crate. Like this is not going to fit on my shelf. So I have this. I took the hilt out. Like this is not going to be. This hilt's not going to be staying in the crate. Because it's like. This thing is impossible to display. But here he is. And here, I don't know if you can see it, but here's the hilt, here's part of the stand, the rest of the stand, and the belt clip, and then the blade is underneath. So we'll get into all that. I'll take a look. First, we'll talk about the hilt. And then, and the box is like magnetic, so like, if I'm showing like that. But it says on the bottom here, it says the Skywalker lightsaber, which is cool that they did, they changed it from Ray. Yep, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, whatever, Galaxy's Edge, so they must sell it there. Display stand, blade assembly, yeah. You know the deal. And then it's got the blue emblem with the Rebellion, which I think is what the plastic one had. But the freaking original plastic ones are going for like five, four hundred, five hundred on eBay. Literally just for this in the plastic in the plastic crate. So I'm like, I'm like, well, I'm not fucking paying that. Fuck that. And then I was like, well, I'm just, I'm just not gonna get it. And then they fucking clutched up with this on uh, Shop Disney. So I was like, let's go. There's so much to talk about the lightsaber. I'm just going to give you a brief overview. I already kind of ran this through in my head. Just like a be two minutes. So basically, if you remember in Attack of Clones, Anakin had a, a lightsaber similar to this, but it looks more like the Darth Vader one, but almost all silver. And he uses that one through Attack of the Clones, and then it gets destroyed in the droid, droid factory. Then in the Clone Wars, he makes this one, which is the one he uses throughout the entire Clone Wars. And in Revenge of the Sith, he kills Count Dooku with this lightsaber. And he fights Obi-Wan with this lightsaber. Obi-Wan beats him. Takes this one. Leaves him in the lava. Obi-Wan holds on to this. We may see this in the Obi-Wan show. I don't know. Then, in A New Hope, Obi-Wan gives this exact lightsaber to Luke. Luke uses it in A New Hope. He uses it in Empire Strikes Back when he fights Darth Vader. Darth Vader chops his hand off. This goes down the shaft. Seemingly lost forever. It's not in Return of the Jedi. And then in The Force Awakens, Maz Kanata apparently has this. Who knows how. She gives it to Rey. Rey uses it in The Force Awakens. She attempts to give it to Luke in The Last Jedi. He rejects it. She fights with Kylo Ren with this lightsaber, and then they try to grab it. They each think it belongs to them. They, it breaks apart. Oh, no. Uh, in Rise of Skywalker, she repairs it, which is the Reforged Skywalker, which is also at Galaxy's Edge. And, yeah. I didn't want the Reforged one, and I think that's it. That's all the lore. Ben Solo uses this when he fights the guards and turns good. And then Ray buries this with Leia at the end of Rise of Skywalker, and apparently that's it. But, who knows? Um, sorry, my cat's going crazy with the meows. We're just going to power through. Yeah, I didn't want the Reforged. I don't know. That was only in Rise of Skywalker. This was in every major Star Wars movie, starting with, I guess it wasn't Attack of the Clones. It was in my favorite one, first one that you saw it in. It was Avenger the Sith. It was in the Clone Wars. Yeah. So, here it is. Up close look. It's like an exact replica. 
I didn't check what kind of batteries it is. I haven't even opened it yet. Well, I took it out and fucked around with it, but I didn't check the batteries. Yeah, it's gonna do three doubles. Three double A's. Pretty easy. Nice. I don't know if they upgraded this model from the... Like, the, uh... The original one that was in the plastic, the plastic crate. Let's make sure we're still recording. I'm pretty sure we are, but yeah, we are. We're good. Sorry, I just paranoid. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I'm gonna compare it to the Darth Vader one. Actually, that's a great idea. I just had that idea. That just popped into my mind. Let's compare them. Oh, the Vader one's heavier. Oh, uh, you can see the similarity. I mean. Like, same up to here is the same. Basically, you got the same ring part with this. Same activation, like metal, cup piece. Man, very similar sabers. This is more what his Anakin's original saber was. Uh, it was like, but this part was like silver, and all this this was silver. Basically, that's what it was in attack 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 of the clones. Uh. Weight-wise, the Vader one is a... No. No, they're about the same, actually. I thought this was super light when I grabbed it. But I guess it's really not. The Vader one feels a little thicker. Yeah, it's the Vader one's thicker. Because the grips, you can see the grips come out more. So it feels thicker. But the weight-wise, it's about identical. Which isn't too bad. But I always... But that's not light. Like, this is heavier than, like, the Luke Skywalker green one. Or the um, the Obi Wan one for sure, but not as heavy as like Windu or uh, Count Dooku or any of those. Dope other All right. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's get into. Well, actually, let's put a blade in it. I'll show you the blade that comes with it. Actually, before we do that, I'll just show you quickly the stand. Which I actually haven't even set up yet. Plastic. I don't even know how it works. I, I guess there's instructions on the bottom. Fuck that. And then it's this piece. Assuming it like goes in like that or something. I might actually have to look at the stand here. Or look at the instructions. Okay, I'll look at the instructions. But there's these two other pieces. Here we go, now. All right, let's look at the quick instructions that they give. I'm not doing that right. Took a bad bitch to hibachi and harachis. No way that's it. No chance. Bone piece. Bone piece. There was a foam piece somewhere, wasn't there? Was it this? How do you... Sorry, apparently I'm an idiot. Wait, what? Yeah, you slide it in. Am I stupid? What the? I don't know what's going on. Oh. Yeah, that slides in. Apparently it doesn't. I'm going to figure this out. What? Doing it exactly right, right? Not being stupid. What the hell? Phone piece. Yeah, I get it goes in like this. But why would it not just slide in? I'm gonna break this thing. Didn't do a very good job explaining instructions. I don't even know why I care about the stupid stand. What the? 
All right, this thing's a piece of shit. This, I mean, it's plastic. The entire fucking thing is plastic. Fuck this. Dude, this thing sucks. But I want to I wanna show you guys, because this is what you're going to get if you buy one of these kits. And unfortunately, this might be the future. Now, how in what's name do you get this? Like, it will not. I don't know what's stopping it. Like, unless the whole thing goes under. No, it can't fit. Who the hell designed this? Because they did a really bad job. Oh, my God, I got it. You have to absolutely push the shit out of it. But you got it. Okay. Then you put your stupid lightsaber. And there you go. That's... That's... It's not awful, but it's not as good as the normal other stand. All right. I'll put this back in. Fuck. Because fuck it. All that for me to do that. Sorry if I just wasted your goddamn time. It's Disney. They're bullshit ideas. Okay, okay. All right. And then it comes with a belt clip. I know you just want to see the blade thing. You can probably fast forward to that. Then it comes with a belt clip. Let's see how that compares. So, oh, it's just a typical. I think I even have another one. Oh, just do that. And then you just, like. I mean, these things are cheap, but basically. Yeah, yeah, this is stuff. Like they don't open unless you. Yeah. So not. Yeah, I mean it's not super heavy. It's not like pulling it down. It's noticeable. I like the Kylo one, the Kylo Ren ones. That was, that's the best. I prefer the D ring to be, or the, I mean the circle thing, the tech ones. But the cool thing about the D ring is you can clip it to other things. So I wouldn't use this particular thing. But if you have another belt clip. Like, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's the Chirotech. There's the one, there's the one that, this one only works with the D-Ring. But there's the other one. This one, the, the lightsaber belt clip that you can buy at, or at uh, Doc Ondar's. Cover tech, and then the little D-Ring. So either way, you have it. So I'm surprised they didn't include that one. But I guess this one works with that one. But the Mace Windu... And the Vader are cover tech, so maybe they come with that one. I don't know. But this one doesn't have the cover tech, only the D-ring. All right, enough about that bullshit. Let's put you back in here, and let's get the fucking blade out. So the blade, like I said, is under here. So you take this piece, foam out, has all your stuff. And you get, I believe you're like 31-inch blade or 29, or it's your medium-sized blade. So I'm not going to put that one in there because, well, I want to put the big one in. The bigger the better. That's probably what they tell you. I'll show you the two blade sizes here. All right. We got three, actually. So the big blade, the medium blade, try to hold them together. Small blade. See that? Yeah. The medium one's the one that comes with this. This is the original one I got. And we're going to put the big blade in. Because fuck yeah. And we're going to light this bitch up. Ready? This thing is sick. Let me tell you. Holy fuck. Oh yeah. Ready? May the force be with you. Oh yeah. Bright as all hell. Yeah. Nice and long too. Should the boot up sound? Classic. Vintage, Star Wars, you know me. Here's the clothes. Yeah. Oh my God, look at my Yeezys. Holy. Yo, that is sick. My Yebras, fuck yeah. That's actually sweet. It's that blue light. And that concludes my review of the Skywalker Anakin Saber. 
or Ray or Luke. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.